YouTube fam. Today, I'm coming to you with a discussion and a review for an album. The name of the album is Originals by Prince. Recently, Prince had a birthday. His estate is also celebrating 30 years since the Batman soundtrack came out from 1989. Also, they're celebrating songs he's written for other artists over the years, over the decades, of new material that you never heard before from Prince. Now, you heard the songs from the actual artists, but did you know these songs were written by Prince? For example, Jungle Love by The Time, written by Prince. Nothing Compares to You by Shanae O'Connor, written by Prince. Just Another Matic Monday by The Bengals, written by Prince. The Glamorous Life by Sheila E., yes, written by Prince. He even wrote country music for Kenny Rogers. Can you believe it? Um, what's that song? Makeup by Vanity Six, written by Prince. Gigolos Get Lonely Too, from the time, written by Prince. The dude was an absolute genius. I mean, these previous stars had their biggest hits ever, and they was written by Prince. Not to mention his own hits from his own albums. The man was a musical, influential genius who defied all the odds, man. And those who know me know I'm a huge Prince fan. And when this new album was released, I was there day one to get this joint. Oh my God, I played it over and over. All nine tracks just slam. He's done so much that you don't know about. And man, I have to tell you, I was fighting back the tears this weekend listening to this album. Because dude, I love Prince. He's a big influence on my childhood, my teenage years, my young adult life, even to the way I am now. The way I get on stage and have confidence in myself, I got that from Prince. And back in the day when I was dating girls and stuff, they come to my, my place. Look, I'm the type of brother who took all of Prince's slow jams from all of his albums and made slow jam albums just that consisted of Prince. That's how much music he had. Now, you ask any of them young ladies from back in the day, they came to my place and I put on some prints, it was over. <laughs> it was over. The dude gave you complete confidence in yourself, your sexuality, and your ability to please another human being. Prince brings that out in the best of us. The dude was uninhibited, sexual, and so creative when it comes to music and his personal life. If you seen Purple Rain, you know what I'm talking about. The man oozes with sexuality and confidence. And back in those days, it wasn't cool to be feminine, sort of say, but you know what? Prince made it okay. And therefore, it was okay to be that way. Look, the more soft you are, women like it. They like, you know, a real man as well. But you know what? Showing your soft side makes you a real man. And Prince did that to the fullest, man. And I seen the man in concert. I own every music the man's ever produced. On the back of my car, I have the Prince uh, insignia. I have the symbol on the back of my car. That's how much I love this dude. And to get this new album and to know that he written all these songs for these other artists is just amazing. Go cop that album. Support the man's dream and legacy and his estate, Paisley Park. Um, I can't say enough. Like I said, I was choking up. I was fighting the tears. The man's music does that to me. And as an artist, ladies and gentlemen, we lost a great one. But he's still here because his music is still here. Go get that album, Prince Originals. In stores now. You won't be disappointed. Until the dawn.